وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أحبت في الله continuing on in our study of the foundation of the sunnah and the creed of the religion by uh, Imam Raziyain Rahmatullahi rah, uh, Rahimahumullah Jameen and it began the treaties by saying in the name of Allah the most beneficent the most merciful and then uh, Imam Abdurrahman ibn Abi Hatim Rahmatullahi he said I asked my father and Abu Zura radiallahu anhumah about the positions of the Ahlul Sunnah, the positions of Ahlul Sunnah regarding the fundamentals of the religion and what they found the scholars upon in all of the cities and what they held as their creed in that regard. So they both said, we found the scholars in all the cities, in the Hijaz, in Iraq, in Egypt, in Sham, in Yemen, uh, so it was from their position that Iman, true Iman, is speech and action. It increases and decreases. What we learn from this Ahabat this very beneficial statement and beneficial question, asking about what were the Imams of the Sunnah upon? And this was time, this is during the time of the Salaf. So, uh, Abdurrahman ibn Abi Hatim rahimahullah ta'ala, he asked his father and Abu Zura about what were the people, the positions of the people of the Sunnah with regards to creed, with regards to creed, aqidah, and what did they find the scholars upon, meaning those who preceded them and those who were, uh, you know, at their their tabak, their tabaka you know, at the same level as them, the same time, their contemporary, uh, contemporaries. They answered, they said, we found the scholars in Hijaz, you know, Mecca, Medina, and Iraq, and Egypt, and Sham, and in Yemen, and they all believed, they all were united. This is the Imams of the Sunnah. And they're talking about Ahl Sunnati with Jama'ah. They were all united that Iman is speech and action. It increases and it decreases. So it's very important that we understand this principle. This is a this is the aqid of Ahlul Sunnah. When you say that you're following the Salaf of this Ummah, this is the aqid of the Salaf of this Ummah. That they believe Iman was speech, so the testifying testimony of faith, and action, the Salat, uh, Zakat, and all the various actions that we do with regards uh, uh, to Islam and that makes up Iman and of course without s uh, saying that includes the heart so it wasn't necessary so you'll find in a lot of the books of the Salaf that they mention that Iman huwa qawl wal amal that it's statements and it's actions and of course included in that is the heart so now because of the bid'ah that's taken place later that the great the imams of the sunnah in contemporary times and those who preceded them would have to clarify by saying iman huwa qawl wa amal huwa qawl bil bil jawari wa amal bil jawari wa wa amal bil qalb or amal bil amal bi kulli so the imams of the sunnah they say that iman is a statement, it has to do with speech, and it has to do with actions, and it has to do with the heart, of course. All of that makes up Iman. And what? And it increases and decreases. How do we know this? So, Shaykh uh, Abdul Malik, uh, Ta'ala, he mentioned many ayats to show us, uh, to illustrate this point about Iman and Iman being a part of a uh, 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 statement. And he mentioned in uh, a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Qala Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Al-Iman bid'un wa sab'un, O bid'un wa sittun shu'ba. Fa afdulaha qul la ilaha illallah, wa adnaha imatatu, imatatu al-adha an tariq. 
Walhaya shu'batun min shu'b al-iman ruahu Bukhari wa Muslim. So he mentioned the hadith that's in Bukhari and Muslim where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Iman is 60, uh, is 70, uh, 70 levels or 70 branches, 70 branches. And, or 60 branches, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. And the best of it, what's the best of that Iman? Qul la ilaha illallah. Saying the Shahada. That's the high, that's the best of that Iman. Why? Because that enters you in the fold of Islam. And that's the Miftah of Jinnah. That's the key to paradise. And then he said, and the lowest of that is removing a harm from the path, from the road. So if you remove something harmful from so people's tires don't get popped, so you don't so someone doesn't injure themselves, so the people don't have to step over it, whatever the case may be, that's a part of Iman. And then he said, well, haya shu'batum min shu'b al-iman. And he said that shyness is a branch from amongst the branches of iman. What is that benefit? How does this, kaiva yistadilla bihada? How do we find this as evidence? How do we understand this to be evidence for this issue of whether iman, uh, that iman is, 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 is different branches? What we learn is iman is different branches and it's different levels. We also learn because the Prophet Sallallahu said, فَأَفْضَلَهَا قُولْ لَا إِلَى إِلَى اللَّهِ The best of it is لَا إِلَى إِلَى اللَّهِ is taking the testimony of faith. Testimony of faith is what? That's on the lisan, that's on your tongue, that's speech. وَأَدْنَا أَمَاتَتَ أَذَا أَمَاتَتُ أَذَا أَمْ طَرِيقٍ the lowest level is removing a harm from the road. What is moving a harm from the road? That's amal, that's deeds. Prophet Sallallahu described them both as Iman. Letting us know deeds are from Iman. Letting us know statements of the, the tongue is from Iman. And Haya, shyness, is from Iman. Highness, Haya, where is Haya? Where do we find the shyness? The shyness, we find it in our action, but it's also a matter of the, the heart as well. That someone has shyness. Okay, it's, a, it's, it's something outward, but it's also, it's inward. The asal of it is coming from inward. Letting us know all those are part of Iman. The Prophet ﷺ said, مَنْ رَعَمْ مِنْكُمْ مُنْكَرِي فَلِغَيْرُهُ بِيَدُهُ فَإِنْ لَمْ يَسْتَطِعْ فَبِلِسَانِهِ فَإِنْ لَمْ يَسْتَطِعْ فَبِقَلْبِهِ ذَلِكَ أَدْعُ فَلِمَانِ رُوَاهُ مُسْلِمْ The Prophet ﷺ said, Whoever sees a munkar, something sinful from amongst you, then change it uh, with his hand. And if he's, un he's unable to do so, then speak out against it. And if he's unable to do that, then hate it in his heart. And then the Prophet ﷺ said what? Which is the shahid, which is the main point of mentioning this hadith? وَذَلَكَ عَدَفُ man. And that is the weakest form of faith, letting us know what? All of those things make up iman. They all make up faith. That iman is on the tongue, Iman is in the heart, Iman is in our deeds. Are all of those things are Iman. They are what makes up Iman in Islam. Another benefit we gain from that hadith, which also shows and goes back to what the Imam says, that Iman, it increases and it decreases. So call al raziyain yuzid wa yanqus. That it increases and it decreases, meaning our Iman. Our Iman increases and it decreases. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, Huwa al-lazhi anzala sakinata fi qulub al-Iman, fi qulub al-Iman, fi qulub al-Mu'mineen, li yazdadu imanan ma'al imanihim. Allah, the Almighty and Majestic said, Huwa al-lazhi anzala sakina, that He is the one, Allah is the one, who gives us comfort in the heart, in the hearts of the believers. And may Allah bless us to be from Ahl Iman, Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. Li yazdadu, that's the shahid, in order to increase them in Iman, with their Iman. 
Letting us know what? That Iman increases. And likewise, Iman decreases. Because when you have that absence of that Iman that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increased, that means your Iman is lower. So Iman increases and it decreases. And may Allah protect us from the Aqidah of the Murjia and the Khawarij. And there are many a hadith as well that mention the fact or prove to us that Iman also uh, increases and decreases. And it suffices what we've already mentioned. Then the Imam said, <clears throat> and so this is also the Aqid of Ahl Sunnah, as the, the great Imam, Imam Ain Raziyan said, and the Quran is a speech of Allah. It is not created in all its aspects. And pre-decree its good and its bad is from Allah, the mighty and majestic. So he said, and the Quran is a speech of Allah. And the Quran is a speech of Allah. Have a kalam Allah. Although the groups of deviants, like the Mu'tazila, they disagree with this. For example, this is as uh, Sheikh Abdul Malik mentions, he said, Khilaf in al he said this differs from the way of the Mu'tazila. They say, they claim that uh, uh, the, the Kalam Allah or the Quran is a, perhaps you might say, a representation of the speech of Allah. That it's not really the Kalam of Allah. It's not really the speech of Allah Azza wa Jal. And the Asha'ira, they claim that uh, also they they have a, a claim uh, with regards to the Mus'haf and the, and the and the Quran. And what I like here, Sheikh Abdul Malik, he mentioned what is sufficient. He said, "Wayakfi fi rad, wayakfi fi rad alayhim jami'an qul Taala." وَإِنْ أَحَدٌ مِّنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ إِسْتَجَارَكَ فَأَجِرْهُ حَتَّى يَسْمَعَ كَلَامَ اللَّهِ So he mentions a beautiful ayah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he said this is sufficient for refutating without even getting into all the shubahat that Ash'ari say, the Mu'tazila say, the Jahamiyyah say, the Kulabiya, all these early uh, sects, what they said about the Quran and the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said it's sufficient to refute all of them this one ayah, the statement of Allah, the Almighty, when he said, and if the mushrikeen, if the polytheists, if they are your, uh, your neighbors, then be neighbors to them until they yasma'a kalam Allah, until they hear the speech of Allah, the kalam of Allah, the speech of Allah, letting us know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has speech. Letting us know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's kalam is uncreated, it is His kalam, it is His speech, subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is the Qur'an. And then he said, and pre-decree it's good and it's bad is from Allah, the mighty and majestic. And we know this, we know the qadr is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know this from the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu when asked about iman. He said, and tu'mina billahi wa malaikati wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa liyawm al-akhu wa tu'minu bi qadri khayrihi wa shar. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said that iman, it is believing in Allah, it's believing in his books, it's believing in his angels, it's believing in his messengers, and it's believing in the day of judgment, and it's believing in the divine destiny, the divine creed, the good of it and the evil of it. That's the Aqid of Ahl Sunnah. And so, this shows that the issues which follow meaning in this treatise, have to do with the aqidah, the creed and the belief of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. And whoever opposes anything from them has deviated from the way of Ahl Sunnah, the way of the Salaf of this Ummah. 
And we have discussed a little bit about Iman, that true faith is on the tongue, meaning we affirm it on our tongue, and we confirm it on our limbs, and it is the asl of it, the mahal of the Iman, the asl is in the heart. All of that are a part of Iman. They all three make up Iman. And we also discuss that the Quran is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of it, what the reciters recite, what Jibreel uh, came down with in Revelation, uh, the mushaf that we hold in our hand, this is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And with that being said, those people who deny that or say the mushaf, well, we printed it in, a, in, a, in you know, a, a, the ink and this and that and the other, and they get into very odd debates that they should return back to the usul, return back to the foundation they will have clarity, and they won't waste their time and fall into deviance and misguidance by arguing about the Quran. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala Nabi Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.